Here at ASCO 2011 discussing treatment of patients with advanced sarcomas. And joining us to do that is Dr. Sarah Dumont. She is from the MD Anderson Cancer Center in Texas. Thanks for being with us. Thank you, I'm very glad to be with you today. So you've been working on a phase two clinical trial. What are you presenting here at ASCO about it? So what we are uh, working on is a phase two trial on irinotecan in advanced or metastatic sarcomas. And the idea is to find the optimized um, schedule and dose for this drug, which is a very interesting drug in those tumors, which are sarcomas. But um, in sar sarcoma are really heterogeneous kind of tumors. And so you never know which subtype will respond, which will not. And of course, with this kind of drug, you're really um, careful about the side effects. And so we wanted to have a regimen that would um, fit both of these criteria, and that's the reason why we studied safety and efficacy of a large group of um, sarcomas. Dr. Dumont, how was this study designed? The rationale for that was based on uh, previous data, mainly pediatric data, uh, trying to have a um, protracted um, administration, sustained administration of the drug at a very low dose but every day, five days in a row, two weeks in a row, so five days, two days of rest and two weeks in a row in a 21 days schedule. And this um, design showed previously that there were an efficacy, a you know, better response rate with this kind of um, dose administration. Uh, the other thing in the matter of dosage, it was a 20 milligram by meter square um, dose for those pediatric patients with a very good tolerance actually. So we tried to um, start on this schedule and on this dose of 20 milligram by meter square, but as was not completely expected, but it was pretty rough on patients, and so very quickly we had to decrease this dose to 16 milligram by meter square. And what we've seen is actually we have a very uh, good profile of response of some of the tumors. How would you summarize your findings? What we found, and that was really striking, it was a high, high response rate on a very specific kind of tumor, which are Ewing sarcoma uh, family tumors. So Ewing sarcoma, um, PNET, that responded dramatically on this drug, which was amazing. Um, but maybe the cons of the protocol is that we had a high toxicity, a lot of fatigue, uh, a lot of diarrhea, mainly on older patients. But finally, the one that responded were the young patient with Ewing sarcoma. Usually it's young patients have this kind of tumors. And so, well, the conclusion would be try, consider this drug, to consider this drug on, on UX sarcomas that uh, are refractory to the previous therapy. It's really interesting to see that um, you can really actually have um, a response, um, an obvious response with this drug. One area of research always leads you to another, doesn't it? <laughs> well, yes, of course, you always want, with, with what you just learned, to go a little bit further and to um, pursue the goal to uh, have the optimized uh, way to treat patients. And well, what I think is the irinotecan is really a nice drug in a matter of it's a inhibitor of the toporizomerase. It's also a differentiating agent that can, you know, show some differentiation and was presented at the last ASCO. Um, and, and I mean, it would be really interesting to uh, pursue uh, the study of this drug in an epigenetic setting in, um, in a matter of, you know, molecularly. Dr. Dumont, thanks for stopping by and sharing some of your work with My us. My pleasure. Best of luck to you. <laughs> thanks. Dr. Sarah Dumont from the MD Anderson Cancer Center joining us here at ASCO 2011.